What is up guys, Petrify here, and today we're doing a top 5 best DMRs list. I have done top 5 uh, assault rifles, SMGs, and pistols in the past, and I do plan to do some updated 2019 editions of those because some guns got nerfed and some guns, uh, guns got buffed that I did put in that top 5 list. If there's any other gun types that you want me to go over, battle rifles, snipers, carbines, etc, etc, you can leave them down below in the comments and I might do another video on one of those as well. I want to mention that this top 5 list of DMRs is my personal preference and what I perform the best with personally. So if, if say you use a certain DMR and it's not in this top 5 list, I'm not calling your DMR bad in any way. I simply just don't use it or really like using it in general. I just want you guys to keep that in mind and know that this is my top 5 list and it's not a guarantee every single DMR in the list I put it. It's going to perform the best for you because everybody has a different play style, everything like that. So keep that in mind. With that said, let's get straight into this top 5 list. Coming at the number 5 spot is the SA58 SPR. Now, throughout this commentary, I'm going to call it the SPR because that name is super long and I don't want to... It's kind of a tongue twister, to be honest. So, my class setup on this gun is a little bit different from the other ones and it's probably really going to be the only different class setup out of all of them. Is mainly because this is more of like a fast-paced DMR. You don't have too many of those. You can play fast paced with the other DMRs I put in this list, but it's not the greatest experience. With this one, you can kind of rush a little bit. So the class up for this uh, SPR is Coyote Sight, Muzzle Break, Vertical Grip. I know some people use Angled and uh, Stubby, but I like to use Vertical on my DMRs. And also I put AP rounds on this gun, mainly because I'm rushing with it and I do want to do more damage up close and personal. But keep in mind, your gun will be a little bit weaker from ranges if you do use this as that class setup. If you don't want to put AP rounds, you want to use it overall from long and close quarters, you can do that as well. And put a laser, a green laser specifically on this class setup and use it as a regular DMR from range. Putting this one in the fifth place was really hard for me because there was other uh, DMRs I wanted to put in here. For example, the TCR, the Beowulf TCR, or the Beowulf. People get mad at me when I pronounce that wrong, so I'm going to pronounce it both ways. I was going to put the TCR in the fifth place, but I had a better, better experience with the SPR instead. Uh, mainly because I could rush with it a little bit more. Coming at the number four spot. Now this one, I was really... I, I didn't know where to put this gun. The SKS. Now, this SKS can be used from range, and it also is really good for rushing. So, I thought it would be better to put it in fourth place instead of all these other DMRs that are really powerful that are going to be in the third, second, and first place. Now, I was considering not putting the SKS in this list at all, mainly because its damage really isn't as strong as it used to be. It's a little bit weaker nowadays, and uh, the, the benefit of having the SKS is that you can shoot it pretty much as fast as you want almost there is like a a, a cap to how fast you can shoot it but it, it is pretty good overall i'll be honest with you i kind of had trouble playing with this one i still did really good though i think i got like a 50 60 kill game something like that with this gun uh but i did that mainly by holding down certain areas instead of rushing with it and i think it was mainly because i had bad ping in that server and people were just instantly killing me up close so i had to stay further away uh, but the SKS is a pretty good weapon that you can use on a, a game or a map like Metro, for example. Now, my class setup for this is a little bit different from our first class setup on the fifth, uh, the fifth place gun, uh, which is the the optic is a little bit different, which is the PK PKAS scope. It's sh it should be the last scope on the whole optic list. Now, I like to use this scope on a lot of my DMRs, mainly because it just feels very it feels perfect for DMRs in general. It's like a close quarters and a long range scope at the same time, and it, it's perfect. For my con or for my barrel attachment, I decided to go with the muzzle brake, vertical grip for our under barrel, and also green laser. Now, I was gonna try AP rounds, but I felt like it wasn't worth it since it was already weaker from range, and I didn't wanna make it even weaker. But of course, you guys can experiment with the SKS all you guys want. You don't have to use my setup, but you can try out the gun, and you can put AP rounds on and see if it does help overall or not but that is my fourth place weapon and i was gonna i was considering putting the sks in second place but i found a new dmr that i didn't use often but i found it to be really good for how i play and you guys will see that later coming at the number three spot is the scar ssr now some people might be mad at me and just think this deserves a number one spot but i want people to keep in mind that this is my personal preference and what i perform the best with and i haven't used the ssr uh in over a year until this video if I used it more often before I made this video, maybe it would be in the number one spot. But as of right now, I put it in a third place spot because these other two guns that are in second and first, I did a lot better with and it fits my play style more than the SSR does. Let's talk about the setup. 
it's literally the same thing as everything else pks scope vertical grip muzzle brake and green laser now with this weapon it's more of a sniper variant but from certain ranges it's a two shot to the head this ssr used to be really good back in the day uh, when it was around 2016 early 2017 then it started getting some nerfs i believe and they made it where aiming in is slower which isn't the worst thing and i'll explain why here in a second and also the damage from range uh for headshots wasn't as strong as it used to be some ranges you'll have to go for two shots to the head and up close and i think it's 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 definitely over 100 studs that you can one shot people to the head i believe so basically from revad spawn building to um i would say the tank it, you're pretty much guaranteed a one shot to the head i think if i am correct that's the best i can give you i don't look at the stats i didn't look at the stats so probably should have done that but the reason why the aiming in speed isn't that bad uh with the ssr is because when you aim in slow it makes it easier for you to get headshots when you're in like uh in a rushing state so if you're rushing a player and you need to head, hit a headshot you use that green laser you slightly aim in you don't aim in all the way but you slightly aim in it makes it really really easy to hit a headshot like it after a while of practice you should get that down packed and this could be your best dmr in the game if you get it if you get really good with it but i mainly chose this and put it at the third spot because it's more of a sniper variant and it's one of those guns that you're supposed to play a little bit slower with but you can rush with it like i said a lot of these dmrs that i chose fit my play style and i can play slow and play fast as well now for second and first place it was really hard for me to choose between the two uh so i put the first place the one i have most experience with uh but coming in second place is the msg 90. now i never use this dmr until this game that you guys are gonna see now not obviously you're not gonna see the whole gameplay but the msg 90 i come to find out it's probably one of my favorite dmrs at right now but i'm not putting it in number one spot because i just started using it and also i performed way better with the other dmr in first place now the downside to this weapon is its ammo capacity in the magazine only having 10 shots and 11 if you have one in the chamber uh so if you spawn hit reload you can have one in the chamber and you get that extra bullet that's the biggest downside to it but this thing is powerful my setup for this is the same as all the other ones pka and pkas scope muzzle brake vertical grip and green laser now what makes this gun so good is that it's a two shot to the head from pretty much all ranges if i remember correctly i think up close i've gotten some one shots to the head but i don't know if those people are weak or not uh so it's very possible in like a very up close uh rushing state that it might be one shot to the head but what makes this gun so good is that it's a two tap to the chest as long as you're not hitting in the arms or the legs you should be able to two shot any player to the chest no matter what up until about 20 studs out that is so this gun is really good for rushing but like i said the downside is the 10 bullets in the magazine one in the chamber makes 11. so if you're somebody that likes to jump in get a couple kills and run back and reload try to stay safe and then jump back in and get a couple more kills and re re rinse and repeat this is the perfect gun for you and i like to do that sometimes i like to let players out of their spawn so i can more have more interesting fights sometimes uh so i'm the type of player to run back and reload and allow people to try to get out of their spawn so i'm not sitting there just constantly spawn trapping but i'm gonna be honest with you i think this is a gun that is probably best for um blizzard i would say probably revad and maybe a little bit of highway lot that's probably the only three maps i would use this gun on as where the first place gun i would use it on practically any map if i had to coming at the number one spot which you guys probably already thought this which is the mk11 now the mk11 might be one of my best guns in the game uh considering the fact that it's a dmr and i don't use dmrs and i always do really really well with this gun it could be that because it's good or just somehow i just have like a really good uh play style for this weapon in general the downside to this weapon is that it doesn't have a fast fire rate unless you shoot correctly and it takes a little bit to get used to uh shooting the mk11 where you can shoot it pretty decent uh decently fast best way to master the fire rate on the mk11 is going to a vip server or sitting back and spawn and shoot and eventually if you try out certain uh you know shooting styles uh slow fast medium and mixing up between slow and fast you'll eventually find out that the mk11 shoots slower the faster you click and it shoots a little bit faster the slower and the time you take uh between each click is that that's what allows it to shoot faster it's hard to explain but if you can master this weapon and its fire rate you're literally going to destroy everybody because the headshot damage is insane on the mk11 it's also a really hard hitting gun uh to the chest up close 
it's definitely not stronger than the msg 90 but it definitely does have more ammo than the msg and overall in my opinion it's a better experience the mk11 has t total of 21 bullets in the magazine well 20 bullets in the magazine and one in the chamber so pretty much if you it's pretty you have 10 more bullets in the msg 90 which makes it a lot better and you can fight a lot more players at once uh instead of having to back up and reload yes you will notice a lot of damage drop-offs when it comes to mk11 from ranges but i feel like it's easy to deal with that and uh if you have good aim you should be fine no matter what but anyways, that's my top five list for the DMRs. I just really wanted to put this out because I've been using them quite a bit recently. And uh, I found my maybe my new favorite DMR, which is the MSG-90. I had to play with it some more to find that out. And I might make a video on it in the future to let you guys know if I like it better than the MK-11. But I don't think I'm going to be able to find a DMR to beat the MK-11 because it just fits me perfectly. If you guys use this top five list, any of these guns in the top five list, let me know your setups down below that you like to use it. And also tell me if you tried out any of these guns that I gave you with the setups and if you like them or not. If you guys would like to see me do more videos like this in the future with carbines, battle rifles, snipers, and also do my updated 2000 or 2019 and also my SMGs, assault rifles, all that for 2019 edition. So it's all updated and everything. Leave a like down below and I'll really appreciate it. Thank you guys for all the support recently on the channel. I really do appreciate it. I love you guys. Peace out.